Last time we failed creating a nice cozy Swedish Stuga uh, here at uh, our uh, ink farm and ended up with this uh, monstrosity of a barn. And today we will tackle this, we will downsize it and we will finally create the uh, Stuga that I envision. Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsusti and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Today we will start with uh, sleeping and uh, then tackling where we left off in the last episode, uh, namely uh, uh, fixing the uh, this build here. Um, I need to downsize it a bit and uh, probably the, the biggest problem that I'm not sure how to solve it is that here under the wall there's the water stream for our shulker boxes that end up uh, in here. Um, the chest does not necessarily need to be on the uh, inside. But um, uh, we will we will see how that works out. I probably also need a different um, different wallpaper here. Uh, that's that's a bit more uh, uh, proportioned to the size. And then there is also some uh, landscaping around here that needs to be done. I managed to downsize it quite a bit, so uh, this is not the uh, minimal size. It's even smaller than the uh, than the underlying uh, uh, cube down there. And the key point was the idea that the chest can be outside, and instead of the water flow going all the way to the top I can have it uh, terminate lower down and have then the last few blocks here as an uh, item elevator uh, which works thusly and then we should see our three coal in here very nice so um, let me cover this up with some uh, dirt now that we know it's actually working and then I can go about and build up um, the actual shell of the house or the stuka. Now this looks way better and uh, more like I had imagined and uh, I only realized that the uh, uh, roof there is a bit lopsided after I put it on but then again the door is not exactly in the middle so I think it's, it's a nice touch especially as this side is, is against the hill so uh, no worries there. Uh, and the uh, uh, problem um, that I faced uh, with the uh, texture here was basically that uh, the planks here uh, were half the size. And uh, that's something I should have realized from the start because if you look at, uh, at the plank block you can see okay there are four planks uh, beside each others like they're now on here and not eight as uh, they were before so I could have figured that out uh, in the beginning but then we're still learning experience and here we have an outside table with the uh, chest underneath it and on the inside it's uh, it's a bit cramped uh, but everything uh, fits in here and uh, we even have a chest with our maps that make out the uh, 
the uh, outside. So then next up is a bit of uh, landscaping here. Um, I plan to, to have something here around this uh, uh, small lake or pond and then um, uh, something with flowers back here. I'm not yet sure if uh, the space is big enough, but uh, I will figure that out as I go along. And I think I will do this one first, show you the result, uh, uh, tell you a bit about it, and then probably uh, to finish off the episode, we will do uh, the front part together. And then we also need a bit of uh, uh, flowers uh, all around. So let me get the flowers in here at the back and then I will see you again. From this perspective, this flower garden looks great. So it's also a bit a matter of perspective, as you might guess, uh, because if you look at it from uh, higher up, um, I think I went a bit overboard with the uh, different uh, uh, colors uh, here for the paths and also for the for the pathways uh, through here. And by the way, uh, this is heavily inspired by uh, the the flower garden uh, that uh, Beatups did. Uh, on Hermitcraft, uh, so uh, just having a look at that got me inspired and uh, tried to do it myself. Um, obviously, not that good, but I'm I'm quite happy with the with the results. And uh, as always, uh, while doing this you see where you can improve. I also uh, planted a few birch trees around here to uh, immerse, uh, to get a more immersive uh, feeling. And for the last part of this episode, we will build a, a small scene out here at our uh, pond, uh, where we also have this uh, chaiselong, uh, where you actually can lie down, but only when the sun no longer shines. So there's a drawback with that as well. So what I want to do here is basically create a campfire scene. So let's put the fire down here in the middle. And it's one block uh, lower down. Uh, just for good measure, um, because we will have a bit of a surrounding here um, that encapsulates the, the flyer a bit more, and then If that would be uh, on the on the same on the same level as uh, the sand here, it tends to look a bit um, uh, out of place because it's it's just one block higher and uh, the the fire itself is uh, well hidden. And uh, yeah, so I think this uh, works better. And we will have some small pebbles around here. also a bit here in the grass and um, oh, 
that's back here um bit of spare firewood and then some almost stand magic uh, so this time i will uh, show you how i i do it um basically it's not that uh, complicated um first we have to uh, uh, fix the styles we want to have arms so uh, it can grab on something and then no gravity um, you can see the, the result down here and also here in the in the chat then uh, we go to presets and what I uh, go with uh, usually is uh, pointing that's that's this state and we want to give him some cobblestone and now we can see uh, it's not really in an orientation we like so we adjust the pose and let's move the right arm uh, to the middle yep right and then we should also um, rotate it uh, uh, by 45 degrees um, in this angle right uh, and now we basically have to uh, send the armor stand down uh, we do that by this and you can do this in steps of eight and uh, uh, eight is basically half a block so we need a bit more yep and finally uh, we will make the armor stand invisible and then here from the utilities we lock it and then it shows up one last time right and uh, i will do a few more of these and then uh, we will see how it turned out i added a few more armor stands with some cobblestone uh, so uh, this campfire scene uh, is complete now and uh, looking at the uh, area around here it's quite what I uh, imagined it turned out and uh, also the uh, Stuga now has the right uh, proportions and uh, let's have a fly by and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, look, there's even some, some bees there. Uh, must be uh, that there are some, uh, some beehives in some of these uh, new grown tree. But that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I definitely... Uh, 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 enjoyed taking the time to uh, fix the problems from the last episode and do it right this time and it was worth the effort so hope to see you soon goodbye